Within Alaska, there are a total of 86 active or potentially active volcanoes per the U.S. Geological Survey, including perhaps an 87th volcano which is likely yet to be discovered, having produced an explosive eruption in 1907 somewhere in the vicinity and perhaps west of the Seward Peninsula. Although the far western section of Alaska is generally not known too well for volcanoes, this region does indeed have active volcanoes. One of these volcanic fields encompasses a large area near the remote town of St. Michael. This large volcanic field, called the St. Michael Volcanic Field, produced at a minimum three geologically recent lava flows, as there are three large lava fields visible from satellite, which although not scientifically dated, contain cinder cones with a youthful appearance, and all three lava fields most likely erupted at some point in the last 25,000 years. Although this field has not been dated to confirm that an eruption has occurred during the Holocene, this video assumes it has due to the present geologic evidence, hence a designation by myself of the St. Michael Volcanic Field as an active volcano, although this later may be proven to be incorrect. The St. Michael Volcanic Field covers a vast area of land in western Alaska, totaling at least 502 square miles or 1,300 square kilometers. It contains more than four dozen vents via a variety of volcanic landforms. Near the town of St. Michael, these Mars are quite numerous. These rounded lakes, which are clustered on screen, represent vast Mar explosion craters formed from highly explosive eruptions. They formed when a volume of magma intruded into the crust and began heating abundant groundwater. This groundwater then flashed to steam, which continued to become more and more highly pressurized. Then, the pressure became too great and a massive explosive eruption occurred, thus carving out a wide crater. The widest of these is 2 kilometers long and 1.2 kilometers wide, which took a truly impressive amount of energy to form. For additional context, a similar series of much smaller Mar-forming eruptions originated in Alaska, forming the 300 meter wide Yukon Rec Mars in 1977. Eruptions from this volcanic field began 3.6 million years ago when magma erupted along a series of east to west faults in the crust, which served as a path of least resistance. These eruptions initially formed a series of cinder cones, which were accompanied by intermittent ejection of lava bombs and ash. In the last 1 million years, volcanic activity moved to the north and constructed Stewart Island. Volcanism on the island primarily occurred through Stewart Mountain. 280,000 years ago, activity moved to St. Michael Island. Over the next 200,000 years, the island was constructed via a series of eruptions from the shield volcano known as St. Michael Mountain. Lavas from these eruptions traveled up to 6 miles distant, forming the overall island. Several highly explosive eruptions then formed the aforementioned Seven Mars. In the last 100,000 years, eruptions have largely occurred to the south of these two islands, originating at a series of cinder cones. From satellite, three young-looking lava flows can be spotted. The youngest of the group is the middle lava flow, which contains two intact-looking cinder cones. A group of cinder cones called the Sisters to the north produced a more extensive lava flow, but appears to be older than the two aforementioned intact-looking cones. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Michael Aquinta for increasing the level of their membership tier on this channel's Patreon page.